If you're wondering exactly how you can make the scrolling layout look a little bit something like this, it's not possible without using a bunch of keybinds. Now, these keybinds, they're not configured by default, so you're going to have to go to the wiki and figure them out. But instead of you doing that, I have already figured out the keybinds that allow you to make the scrolling layout look as good as this and basically allow you to arrange your windows just like you see over here. Now, let me actually show you the keybinds so that you can pull this off for yourself. So the first thing we're going to have to do is open the key bindings file. So that's in config hyper modules. That's in binds.conf. And by the way, if you're wondering what this modules folder is all about, it's basically taking the main hyperland configuration file and then breaking it up into multiple different pieces in order to make maintenance much, much easier. It's a concept that I like to call modularity. Okay. Now, in fact, if you want to learn more about this modularity stuff and actually how to make your setup modular, along with creating a custom theme switcher like this one, basically all you have to do is just choose a custom theme from a list of your favorite ones and choose your favorite wallpaper and have the entirety of your setup adapt to that wallpaper and that theme. If you want to learn how to make something like this yourself, you can go ahead, click the first link in the description and check out Hyper Accelerator. In fact, this is exactly what you'll find inside of the program. Now, here inside of the system reforging section, if I scroll down all the way here, all of this is over 10 hours of content, by the way, that over 100 people have already, you know, gone through and found amazing results with. If we just click on this theme switches module, which is over two hours long, you'll learn what theme switches actually are, the different kinds, how to set up wallpaper based theme switching and custom theme switching, which is what you see inside of this little theme switcher panel over here. So if you want to learn more about modularity, in fact, that is inside this section, anti-fragile modularity, and of course, the custom theme switcher. If you want to learn how to make something like this yourself, now just copy and paste someone's dot files, you can go ahead, click the first link, and I'd love to help you out. Now, let's go to the keybinds file. Let's scroll all the way down. This is the submaps that we did in an earlier video, but if we go past that, these, these are the binds that I'm using for the scrolling layout. So in order to move, okay. Here's something that you want that you have to understand when it comes to the scrolling layout. Okay. Every single window is going to be inside of a particular column. So if I open another window, okay, this window is going to be on its own column, which means that I can shift windows into a particular column using a certain keybind. So just keep that in mind because we're going to be using it in just a second. So here, super period is going to shift between the different columns, the, the different windows in a particular column, if you will. So right now we have three columns. If I use super period, that's just going to switch between the different columns, as you can see. So I can close the windows. Everything is all well and good. We're just using layout MSG in order to move to the column on the right and the comma to move to the column on the left. Now for moving windows between columns, you're just going to have to use super shift, same way that you'd use super shift if you were going to take a window and move it to a different workspace. So super shift period, that's going to shift a column to a particular shift a window to a particular column. So this is what that looks like. Then if you wanted to exchange the windows up and down in a particular column, you can do that with super shift as well. Sim pretty simple. That's it. That's what these binds do. Again, you're using layout MSG in order to move window to left, right, up or down, depending on the key that you press. Then you have resizing the current column. So if I press super equal, that's going to increase the size of the column. Super minus, of course, decreases the size by 0.1, as you can see here. Now, inside of the Hyperland configuration file, most likely inside of the miscellaneous section, what I've done is I have defined the different preset widths for the columns. So if I press super C, that's going to move to certain preset widths. So this is full width. Okay, this is full width. This is probably something like 50%. This is 75%. This is probably something more than that. And of course, this is full width again. So if I wanted to switch between different widths, as you can see, plus conf goes to the next one, minus conf goes to the previous one. Pretty simple. Then, of course, we have column management. This is going to promote a window to a new column. Let's say I have this window inside of here. So this is window one, let's say. And here we have window two. Now, if I want to promote window two to its own column, I would press super P and that promotes it. If I want to put this back here, I just have to press super shift comma, and that's going to move the window to this column. That's it. So that's for super pre to promote. Now, super F is to toggle fit. Now, if you notice, if I use super and then I try and move between the different windows, if I try and shift fo focus between different columns, what you see is there is a little bit of gap on the left and the right side, which is just centering the window. If I don't want that centering behavior, I have to press super F and toggle fit gets turned off or on depending on what 
you what the state of the setting was previously and as you can see it the setting is in such a way that the extra space that you saw previously does not exist anymore so it's the same as me using alt key my main mod key and switching between the windows then here we have swapping the columns entirely so here let's say we have two windows this is window one and then this is window two great now with window one and window two if i want to move this column to the left i would press super a so that moves the column itself uh, that's it now if i want to promote a window i can do that if i wanted to move window two to the very beginning i would do that with super a there you go move the window pretty simple stuff that's it that is just swapping the columns and here we can use super one two three in order to move the entirety of the column to a different workspace so let's say i have three windows in this column window one two and window three if I wanted to move this to another workspace, let's say to the workspace where all of these windows are, I just have to press super two and it's going to shift it to this, what do you call it? Workspace, that's it. And those are all of the binds that I used in order to make my showcases, whether it, whether it comes to Rices or actually just using Hyperline with the scrolling layout, much, much better and more pleasant. That's it. If you want to learn more about that modularity I mentioned earlier, along with making a custom theme switcher like this one, along with a wallpaper switcher, like the one that you see here, not to mention a waybar theme switcher as well. If you want to learn how to make this yourself instead of copying and pasting somebody's dot files and relying on them for help. If you want to be the master of your own setup instead of having to beg someone else for help when they're probably too busy with their own lives, then go ahead, click the first link in the description and check out Hyper Accelerator here. I've combined over 10 hours of content and every single little resource that you could possibly need to help you get started and make your hyper plan setup absolutely fantastic if you liked the video hit like if you loved it and want to see more like this in your feed hit subscribe and i will see you next time stay rising Mwah.